Hi Pisces, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your reading for the weekend of February 25th to the 27th in Love and Romance. Spirit Guides, can we get a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this weekend? In Love and Romance, please, for February 25th to the 27th. Thank you so much. This is for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 25th to the 27th. What do they need to know for this weekend? In love and romance. All right. <clears throat> two cards. Queen of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Clarified by the King of Wands. So you could be somebody who is a professional, doctor, lawyer, someone who works in communications, journalist, uh, works with information, with the swords energy it could be somebody you could be somebody who uh, is a single parent or a divorcee um, somebody who's maybe a little bit hardened from past experiences and you're not someone who can be fooled easily you're not going to be swayed by like flowery words you're somebody who judges based on actions you're going to see what people do not just what they say and then you can judge you know one hand is saying you know that you're open you're willing to give somebody a chance. But the other hand's holding a big, big sword, which is very menacing. Um, now, with that came out the Two of Pentacles. Could be juggling more than one person, somebody who's juggling more than one person, juggling finances, someone who's busy trying to keep balance going in their life. And they don't want to drop the ball. It's a constant effort with the Two of Pentacles. And then the King of Wands is clarifying this it might be a fire fire sign you're dealing with aries leo sag but there's someone who's very um could be from a warm climate could be somebody in terms of occupation who's very creative even in construction and things like that or or an artist someone very passionate and, and you know excited about life what else is there for Pisces? And the King of Wands is all about action. When the King of Wands comes out, you know that you're making plans, you're making things happen, and you're manifesting. So what else is there? What else is there for Pisces for this weekend? What does Pisces need to know this weekend, please? For February 25th to the 27th. Two cards came out. So we Oh, three. So we got... Queen of Pentacles. Oh, this is the wife, the mother, and the happy, solid home. And this came out separately. Knight of Pentacles. And here we have two of swords having to make a choice. Having to make a choice being pulled in two different directions. And the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who maybe is relocating, moving to another home, or somebody who wants to offer something real and tangible, wants to find somebody that is like in alignment with their kind of values and, and they can build their life with. They want to find their queen. Don't quite know yet, you know, where this Queen of Pentacles and the Happy Home fits in. It could be you. Let's see. What else is there for Pisces for February 25th to the 27th? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces... Sun, Moon, okay, so staying in a relationship maybe to benefit other people. Feeling stuck, fear, clarifying that. Worried about what others will say, what they think. And that kind of like air energy, the Eight of Swords restricting your movement. The choices you make. That's why you feel stuck. It's about love, a choice in love, a choice in love. I'm going to put this here and blocking. There it might be a Gemini with the lover's card. I feel like there's, there's more than one person here, a decision to make and feeling hurt with a wounded warrior, someone who's been hurt before. And so they, they're blocking, even if they think they want love and they're open, it's just like this, you know? Queen of Swords is kind of a wounded warrior in, in the way of she's been hardened from past experiences. It's not that she's a terrible person or she's cruel or mean. It's just, <clears throat> it's, 
sometimes a little bit just hardened. I'm not going to say bitter. Like you could go there angry, vicious with the speech if it has, you know, that kind of clarifying cards. But it's just somebody who's doesn't want to, you know, be tricked, lied to. It's like just very straightforward. Four of Cups. Somebody's offering a cup and the other person's not seeing it, not, not even um, acknowledging it. Yeah, because it's like some kind of mutually beneficial relationship with Six of Pentacles. That's a card of charity, philanthropy, giving and receiving. People get that a lot when it's like during the lock lockdown, something that's convenient in terms of love and romance. Easy come, easy, like not easy come, easy go. Something that's convenient and mutually beneficial, right? It's like you don't want to get a charity card in love and romance. Like maybe somebody who's supporting has a dependency on somebody or they have a dependency on you kind of situation. So whatever this cup's being offered, it's like the other person's not, not, not feeling it. Waiting. Here, the fear of res the restriction and the fear and feeling stuck. It's waiting for the right time. Waiting for the right time. And then there's going to be a big change with the Wheel of Fortune. Things will change. Just waiting for the time when things are going to change, when you can step out of this stuck energy. The Emperor could be somebody who's boss, husband, someone who is a, a old school in love and romance. Someone's older. Um, very... chivalrous okay in love and romance they'll pay for the bill they'll open the door like that kind of a thing and on the lower polarity they can be someone who's controlling domineering um but the emperor is very much all about power and authority and then the page of pentacles is maybe a gift being offered by this emperor some message some gift some offer of a commitment something like that yeah because there's union two of cups here so let's see what else we get let's clarify with some oracle cards this is amira's love oracle Let's see what we get here for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please? What does Pisces need to know for the weekend? February 25th to the 27th. Whoa. Yeah, control. So many cards. Children's here, too. I'm just going to take these because that's enough. So it could be a fair male here involved. Could be fair skin, fair eyes, fair hair light hair could be you could be the person you're dealing with one of them long distance straightforward there could be distance between you two true love and there's control control let's get some other clarifiers this is romance angels by dorian virtue Romance Angels, can we please get some clarifiers here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Deceptions on the bottom. But let's get some more cards to pop out. <sighs> Chemistry. Pay attention to the red flags. This could be the one. It's safe for you to love. There's chemistry. It retreats on the bottom. It's true love, but there's control. And I told you this, this emperor can be controlling. It could be your father. If you're somebody who's, you know, or it could be their father trying to control this, you know, if they're younger than you, if, if this fair male is younger, it could be someone in their early 20s. Doesn't have to be, but it's just speaking to, you know, this page, the smaller energy here, usually... If it's not someone who's a youth, it can speak to just the function of a page, which is relaying messages. This message is a pentacle, means something real and tangible of material, you know, value. So it's a gift. Um, something that they're bringing you. A ticket, a gift, something, a key, I don't know, whatever it is. But it's true love union and it's saying you already know this person. This could be the one. And the pay attention to the red flags is just if you're somebody who's well to do or you have good finances, it could be that, you know, this younger person or whoever this person is could be younger than you. OK, um, might be a little bit 
spoiled or like a little bit entitled or they might be a little rude to it says the 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 valet the chauffeur the wait staff stuff like that and they show you one face that's extremely like you know decent and then they behave in a you know rude way with other people so saying pay attention to that because that's a sign of their character chemistry it's saying you guys have chemistry and it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so that is also like the queen of swords she's saying she's like gonna give it a chance but she's got that big sword ready and just like here she's up on her high horse and the other person's trying to get her ener uh, her energy <laughs> Was trying to get yeah, that just slipped out trying to get her attention but you know she doesn't know if she's going to come down off that horse or not so yeah it does say pay attention to the red flags let's pull some other cards now we'll two two generals this is the wild kuan yin by alana fairchild spirit guides can we please get a message here what does pisces need to know for the weekend of february 25th to the 27th what does pisces need to know just gonna drink some water. My throat's <clears throat> about to break. What does Pisces need to know for February twenty fifth to the twenty seventh? What does Pisces need to know? Almost, almost. What does Pisces Sun Moon Rising and need to know <clears throat> and Venus need to know for this weekend, February twenty fifth to the twenty seventh? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know for this weekend? There we go. Ooh, it's like inner child issues. Medicine of the Divine Mother. Choose your divine medicine to feel grounded and peaceful. Your morning walk, daily prayer, or yoga class. Your time to dance each evening or meditate. To do an oracle card reading. Or sit quietly with a cup of tea and reflect upon what you are grateful for in that moment. Simple daily routines done with awareness allow you to feel my love for you. So, you know, the, the larger deck with this deck, um, it's got this book of, you know, the, their book for the meanings for these cards. It's so amazing. It's so amazing that like often it brings tears to my eyes how good it is. So I know with this card, I mean, it's very short and, you know, kind of summed up really quickly, but it's, it's showing this child here and then the mother and the child when she was younger and this kind of like there's a loneliness energy to it like a lonely abandoned type of sad type of energy to this card and it's saying medicine of the divine mother so you need to do these kind of like little rituals to feel grounded and peaceful and that will allow that awareness simple daily routines done with awareness allow you to feel my love for you it says whether it be your morning walk, daily prayer, yoga class, dance each evening or meditate, do an oracle reading, or sit quietly with a cup of tea, reflect on what you're grateful for. To feel grounded and peaceful. Okay, so there might be a sad, missing, kind of little bit like, yeah, a little bit sad energy with this card. Okay. And the need to get grounded. Now, let's see. This is the... Um, Gateway Oracle cards. This will be the final card. Final card for the day for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, listening with your heart. Trust. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. <clears throat> it's saying that you, you should listen and tune into what, not just your intuition, but what your heart is telling you is the right thing to do. And you see this spirit guide over here. It's saying you have spirit guides who are trying to communicate with you. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they're trying to communicate with you, to offer you advice, to give you healing. And it's saying the more you listen to your heart, the more you'll pick up on their vibration, the more you can pick up on their messages. But I'll read that little bit to you. Igniting courage is on the bottom. I'm strong, valiant, and courageous. But let me read that little bit. Listening with your heart. It says, uh, I trust the messages I receive from my heart. The heart knows what the mind cannot uncover. Trust the messages you receive from your heart. 
Angels and guides are communicating with you. In sweet, soft stillness, listen to their gentle whispers. Um, okay, so it says, if you're, I'll read the rest of it. It's not much. If you're facing a decision and your mind says one thing, but your heart says another, follow the dictates of your heart and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. Whenever you feel challenged and you don't know where to turn, quiet your mind and listen with your heart. The correct path will appear, for Spirit wants to speak to you. There's a message for you right now. Watch the signs and the message will unfold effortlessly. So there's questions here to ask yourself. What or whom do I need to listen to? Is there an area of my life in which I need to listen to my heart rather than my mind? If I was aware of a secret message from Spirit right now, what would it be? So that's your reading, Pisces, for the weekend, February 25th to 27th. You guys get pay attention to the red flags all the time, all the time. Anyways, um, and it's saying there's a true love is long distance. There's distance between you and the, your true love. All right. So I will be back with your weeklies for March after these are done. Thank you for watching, Pisces. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.